I found out something about the Nephilim. While studying the story of Goliath from the Mesopotamian stories, I found out something about the Nephilim and their descendants. Now remember, the word Nephilim does not mean demon and does not mean fallen angel. It simply identifies the descendants of the Anunnaki. Let's call them the hybrids, the demigods. Polydactyly is a remnant sign of being a direct descendant of the Nephilim bloodline. Yes. Not only Goliath had six fingers and six toes, so many of the descendants of Nephilim had them. It is a trait. And when we see this pop up now, that people have six fingers or six toes, that is proof and a sign that you are a descendant from the gods. It's not even a bad thing. It shows your royal bloodline lineage. Tathia was another famous giant, and she was known to have 12 toes. When they found her tomb, not only was she of gigantic proportions, but she had polydactyly. In the artifacts pictographs, we see that all the gods and goddesses surrounded her to protect her. And these images were found on her tomb clearly representing that she was a demigod. Another giant that was a descendant of Goliath, Umi Ishbu, also had polydactyly. The first demigods did not present these signs. It started happening when they had children. Apparently, genetic defects is because of the Nephilim bloodlines. The third son of Goliath, that doesn't have a name in one of the stories, but he's, he's called the third son of Goliath, also had 12 toes. Now, the latest discovery, because of these birth defects that some of the hybrid demigods had, created a tumor in the frontal lobe of the brain that was pronounced, that it stuck out. So David hit that with a slingshot. He did not hit an eye. The stories of the one eye in the middle of the forehead is just how primitive humans were telling the story. I'm assuming a lot of them didn't know what a tumor was. So for them, it was an extra eye in the middle of the forehead. But these genetic defects were all attributed to the Nephilim. Anki, the god of wisdom, the genius that created mankind, said so himself gives a totally new perspective on birth defects now.